Hey all brothers and sisters, my name is Captain Meatshield and welcome back to Deus Ex Human Revolution, where there's bodies everywhere. <laughs> I'm heading back to the detention block, now that I've got my my weird funky eye thing. Uh, we've got to go and chase down Burke. I did check my augments before, like, kind of making a start. I had a couple of Praxis to be able to use, so I've upgraded my some of my hacking stuff, so that now when I get to a console that allows me to mess around with cameras, robots, turrets, I can shut down everything. I've just got to be able to actually access the console, so... need to work on the rest of the hacking level stuff. But otherwise... Good, let me through. Thank you very much. I'm wondering whether or not we're gonna have... Ooh. No, wait, that's robots. I remember. Uh, well, I can go and shut them down now. So, let me just get up here, and we'll shut down everything in this room. Uh, disable robots, I can do that. I can't shut down the turrets, but getting rid of the robots is going to be good enough. There's nothing else on here, was there? No. I suppose I can take my time checking the next floor up now, now that I don't have to worry about robots. Where even are they? Why am I being held here? Where are we? Oh. I didn't think about trying to being able to get past the laser grid, did I? I kind of need the robots active to be able to get past them. Mm. Hang on, let me try something. But yeah, that kind of works. Nice. <laughs> oh, they're actually still on. They're just disabled, which means they ain't gonna do anything. Which I suppose is good enough. But, uh, I wasn't expecting them to still be wiggling. Right, I've still got turrets to watch out for. But they honestly seem easy enough to get past. Because, like, this is, this is nothing. <laughs> oh, it looks like there's something on top of that. How do I get over to it? Uh, no. Oh, wrong button. What's over there? Looks like some shotgun shells and... I think that's like a nuke virus? Oh, I think I need to jump from where the turret is. Which, I, I don't know if I really want to do that. So, we're going to just keep going this way. We need to follow Burke. Big old Burke. Okay, there's no guards around. So that's good news. I'm sure it's going to get busy once we get through this next door. Not that one. Um, I mean, I mean this one. The one we need the eye for. Right. Ooh! Okay, okay, good. I thought he was checking my actual eye. But, oh. oh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous going down here. What am I getting myself in for? Ooh, we're going underwater. Jensen, it's Keitner. Where are you? In a well-concealed elevator inside the prison's restricted wing. Your gun-running neural engineer deserves a raise. I take it the eye worked then. Mm. Good. Now listen, Ooh. if what you say is true, if Burke really is using the prisoners here as lab rats, I need proof. Hard evidence that I can take to Interpol. An entire prison full of kidnapped civilians isn't enough? You're an ex-cop, Jensen. You tell me. How many death row inmates crying on about their innocence have you seen getting out? Point taken. I'll see what I can find. Okay. Now I'm just getting Soma vibes from this. I, I mean, everything's in much better condition. But why have I got no gun? I don't like this. Don't like this at all. Ooh. The fuck? Hmm. 
What are you winding? This must be one massive clock. Oh, this is all very strange. Looks like, I, I don't know, it's either a clock or it's one of those weird mail sorting systems. Like the one from Grim Fandango. Ah, <laughs> oh, hi. Oh, fuck. Please. Please don't leave me like this. No hope. I will try to help. What's on here? Can't get onto that. Uh, it's a security rating 5, so I'm not getting through that. What in the hell is this thing? I don't know. But... Oh! Oh, I needed this for the uh, data storage thing for this. Worldwide access terminal. I don't know what any of this means. I'm sure it's important somehow, but... Okay, there's rock. That's in North Australia. Are they building a space elevator? I've got a load of payloads that I need to send off, so yeah, that could be good. Ooh. Augmented spinal surgery, anyone? Eesh. Oh, there's, um... What's her name? I forget. <laughs> but... I'm sure we'll find out. I'm going to chat to her in a second. Let's see what this is. Cyberboost Pro Energy Pack. I don't need that. Okay. Hmm. Tiffany Cavanaugh, that was the name. Quite the house of horrors you got here, Doc. <laughs> you letting anyone in, or just women? Who are you? How'd you get down here? This is a restricted area. Obviously. You wouldn't want the rank and file knowing what kind of sick experimentation is going on down here. No, you, you don't understand. I'm not. Where's Burke? And your research partner, Savage. Burke went back up to the base. And Gary, Gary left. Told me to be smart, keep my mouth shut, and do whatever Burke tells me to do. For now. For now? Mm -hmm. I heard the three of you talking up there in the morgue. Sounded like you don't exactly fit in here, Dr. Kavanagh. And who the fuck are you? The name's Jensen. I came here looking for someone. Megan Reed. Reed? I I've seen her research. Gary thinks it could be the key we're missing. If she can be convinced to come here. Megan Reed was kidnapped, Kavanaugh. Violently. As was her entire scientific team and the dozens of women you've been torturing down here. No! You, you don't understand. I'm trying to save them. Gary and I, we were sent here to put the OCM project back on track. It wasn't until we got here that we realized what that meant. And by then, by then it was too late. Ooh. What does OCM stand for? Yeah, I'm curious. OCM. Savage used that term in the morgue. What does it mean? Organic Computational Matrix. It's a means of cross-connecting living brain tissue and artificial intelligence systems to create a supercomputer of unparalleled capability. Part flesh, part silicon. That's what you're doing down here, turning prisoners into computer parts. Human brain activity has to be integrated with the technology, or else it won't work. Even DARPA knew that. DARPA, yeah. What does DARPA have to do with this? Nothing. Not directly. In 2007, they started looking for research partners to help develop an artificial cognitive science program that could increase a soldier's situational awareness in the field. A number of private sector companies submitted proposals. Bell Tower being one of them. No. Bell Tower was a private military corporation. DARPA wanted researchers. But one of the companies who did submit something was a biotech corporation that deals with Bell Tower. And they believed a successful program could be designed if it could be wired directly into the soldiers' brains. DARPA wasn't willing to go that far. So this biotech company took the idea to Bell Tower. A corporation that, being privately funded, doesn't have to concern itself with political or ethical debate. Hmm. Oh, I wonder what the research company was. Maybe Ty Young? Or somebody else? Hmm. Could possibly be Sarif. 
Just how many prisoners are being wired into this thing? I... I don't know. But a lot of them don't seem to survive for more than a year. I've told the others there's no way this project can stay viable with these kinds of numbers. But the OCM computers have to have them to work. Computers? You mean there's more than one of them? There's... several. This is just where the process starts. The factory floor. We select the candidates here, implant them, and ship them to the other locations. It's all very efficient. Oh yeah, yes, like I, the I, candidates I, keep dying. Yeah. You seem to think Megan's research is integral to salvaging this project of yours. Why? It's not my project. Had I known before I came here... Right, just answer the question. <sighs> We're experiencing cross-systemic failures with the tech. Over time, subjects implanted with OCM augmentations suffer complete neurological breakdown. They... they pretty much burn up from the inside. Gary thinks it's a problem with the acceptance of the PDOT array. I've heard that phrase before. Hmm. It's the building block of modern neuro-augmentations. Dr. Reed's been reshaping it, changing the way it bonds with living tissue. The mutagenic gene combination she's introduced into it, well, frankly, it's astonishing. Enough to warrant her kidnapping? So she'd be forced to work on this project with you? She's not on this project. I don't know what she's doing or where she is. This is the first time anyone's ever mentioned kidnapping. Let's see. Okay, let's continue. You're really gonna stand there and try to justify your role in this, aren't you? People are being enslaved, Kavanaugh. Enslaved and crucified. It, it wasn't like that at first. I thought we were gonna make a difference, do something incredible for the world. Right. And look how incredible it turned out to be. But you can still make a difference, Doctor. You can help me blow the lid off this place. Are you insane? I, I can't. There's too much money invested in this. Burke, the people I work for, they'll kill me. They'll hunt me down and kill me. I know people who can protect you, hide you. Interpol is just waiting for evidence to tear Bell Tower apart. It's not just Bell Tower. Oh, God. Oh, God, am I really going to do this? <sighs> you... You can't get me out through the prison. Burke would stop us. Then we'll have to do what Savage did. Take a submersible. We can't. The hatches to all the docking hangers are locked tight. The only way to unlock them is by using the security console in the prison command tower. But keeps an eye on us that way. Then I'll have to go back up there and unlock it. Well, you gather as much evidence as you can carry. Oh my god. I'm really gonna do this. Damn right you are. Mm -hmm. Now get moving. I'll contact you when I unlock the hatch. All right. Fine. But Mr. Jensen, please, hurry. Ooh, boy. Things are getting oh things are getting uh spicy, I think. Trauma kit. What the fuck's a trauma kit do? I dunno, it's not here. Oh, it's a quest item. Contains a few doses of morphine. Okay, I get the feeling I'm going to need that. Uh, oh, I'm missing a Moon base? What were the other ones then? Well, I know this one was, um... Australia. I'm sorry. This one's presumably the world. Don't. Oh, hang on. Data storage device. And pocket secretary. Jeez, what the hell is this thing? Strange, that's what it is. Um, excuse me. EMP grenade. I don't need that, but I guess I'm having it. My pocket secretary. Gary, when you get a chance, I've received something on the lab computer that you need to take a look over. Log into my account. T. Kavanaugh. Password. Zzzgulps. Right. I'll have a look at that in a moment. I want to go... Boop. Moon base. Moon biz -umga. This can't go on any longer. Cool. Huh. <sighs> Weird. But cool. Right, so presumably I can get on this now. Yes. Access granted. Uh, I'm sorry. So oh sorry. god, there is a lot to read here. Don't hurt me anymore. No codes for anything, I don't think. No. Okay. Alright, we need to get back out. Oh, hi. So where have we got to get back to? The detention tower. 
Hmm. Keitner, contact Interpol. We need rendezvous coordinates for a deep sea submersible. A what? What exactly have you found, Jensen? A research complex hidden beneath this base. One of its staff is willing to turn whistleblower if we can deliver her to Interpol using one of the lab's transport subs. Which explains why you need the coordinates. I'll see what I can do. Keitner out. Good work, Keitner. So we gotta pinch one of these. Should be fun. Ooh. It's all getting heated now. <gasps> Fuck. Yep. Shite. Keitner, what the hell's going on? The elevator stopped. Burke must have intercepted our comms. Get the hell out of there, Jensen. I'll meet you. Shit. Emergency ladder. All right. Okay. Okay. Uh, right. There we go. I'm up. I'm up. I'm good. I'm good. No, I need to get around this way. Okay. Uh, right. Um. Oh. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Hope I didn't need that. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. Oop. Okay. Are they going to try and force that? Oh, God, where do I go from here? I can't get around that side, can I? No. Up, oh, there we go. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Whew. Right. Oh, there's a vent over there. What's over this way, though? Um. No. Excuse. Come on. Look. Yeet. That's better. Bye bye. <laughs> I just want to see if there's anything under here, but it doesn't look like there is. What do you mean there's somebody here? There's nobody here flinging boxes around. You're a source of disturbance. Sneaky time, sneaky time. Mm. Okay. Ooh. Okay. In the roof above them. What have I found? Gas grenade and an EMP. Can I drop in silently? I don't know if I've got the uh, augment for, for landing quietly. Do I? Let me check. Oh, never mind. I've got two practice kits, don't I? Yes. Uh, sprint faster. Jump and land from any height in total silence. Oh, it's going to take like three to, you to unlock. Ah, fuck. Eyes out. We may have a hostile in the area. Okay. I want to try and get into the room undetected. Obviously, that's going to be difficult. Come on. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Ha ha ha. You're not wondering. I could just leave him here. <laughs> yep, bye fellas. <laughs> Okay, what am I doing about the girl in here, though? Um, which room was she in? Gas dispersal imminent. Uh oh. This is not a drill. All detention silos will be decontaminated. Detention silos be decontaminated. Repeat. Cold yellow. 
Are they seriously about to, like, kill everybody in the detention block? Oh, Burke, you're a dick. Well, at least this thing's still letting me through. Oh. Oh, shit. We really broke open a hornet's nest, didn't we? Just Fuck, she got wrecked. You need a medic. Yeah, I'll get right on that. Got those coordinates, Jensen. But Burke figured it out. Seized control of the station and locked down the detention camp. Bastard's cleaning house. I've got to get Kavanaugh out. Can't. Oh. Not until you stop the gas. What gas? Burke's enacted a scorched earth protocol to stop the truth from getting out. Poison gas in every cell, lab tube, unless you stop it. Okay, no pressure. <laughs> Stay with me, Kaitner. Fuck, she ain't There's gonna make it. There's a circuit board underneath the prison command tower. Directs the flow. Everything's connected, but might be able to redirect. Whistleblower has to live, Jensen. Only sure way. We stop this. Kaitner. And she's Kaitner. gone. Rest in peace, helpful lady. I appreciate the help you've given. Ooh, wine templates and ammo. I don't need either of those. Right, you know what? I've had enough of Burke's dudes. There we go, that's better. Right. I don't think we've got anybody else in this uh, area, so that's good. Oh, I don't need that. All right, sniper rifles. Yeah, I can't carry that. All right, where else have I got dudes? Oh god, the gas is already going. Shit. There is actually a timer. Oh, fuck. Right. Right. Okay, okay, okay. Time to go. Time to go. Time to go. Time to go. Time to move. Don't fucking hug the walls yet. Hug the walls when we get down here. Okay. Shit, my aim is dreadful. My health is even worse. Fuck. <laughs> Trying to get me from downstairs. Ooh, right, okay. Where'd they appear from? Aha. Uh -huh. There we go. Right, where's my pistol? Where are you at, bro? You know what? Excuse me, can you just fucking stop? <laughs> it's totally worth it. Fuck, I've got seven minutes. Seriously, where's the other dude gone? Right, now they're alarmed. Alarmed is fine, I can deal with that. Do -do -do -do. Got him. Got him. I think the last one's stealthing about down here. Where he gone? Ooh. Found you. <laughs> Got it. Right. Ah, well, I'm glad we got all that sorted out, didn't we? All this silly mess and nonsense. 
Not enough space. What are you fucking talking about? Right, uh, it was a thing underneath here, wasn't it? So, boop, boop, boo. Let's see what we find. Aha! Oh shit! You're somebody else! The prisoners. Always a war. You can't say both. Why? The hacker from the ship. You've been listening this whole time? Like Zietke said, everything's connected. Right now, gas is set to disperse evenly between the prison and the lab. All you can do in here is redirect flow out of one area into the other. Do oh, nothing. fuck. Everybody dies. Do something. Somebody dies faster. Precisely. But if you want to bring down Bell Tower, the choice is clear. Mm. Oh, God. This is a serious case of the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Or the one. But the thing is, if I save the one, I can save more of the many in the future. This is awful. I need Kavanaugh alive to be able to take down Bell Tower. I'm gonna gas the prison. A difficult decision, Bratan. But that gov nuke bark give you no choice. Tell that to the prisoners. You'll have Interpol rendezvous with Kavanaugh submersible. As soon as you unlock it, use the touch screen in the security room above you. It will shut off the lockdown, so you can return to the base. And why would I want to go there? Use your head, Chewbacca. <sighs> the last thing standing between you and Megan Reed is Burke. True. Oh, I hate choices like that in video games. Oh, it's just the worst. Makes you feel like utter shite. Right. Kavanaugh. I've unlocked the hatch and I'm transmitting the coordinates to a rendezvous site. Oh, thank God. I thought when the code yellow started. It's over. Just make sure Interpol gets that evidence. I'm going after Burke. Jensen out. Yeah, we're going after Burke. Oh, that dickhead is gonna suffer. Should probably reload this thing. <laughs> Get myself ready for him. Oh, great. More guards on the other side. Every time I come back here, I've killed and knocked out everybody. No, they all got to be awake again. It's bullshit. Ooh. Or should I say Adam Jensen? That's right. I know who you are now. Geithner wasn't quite as good at hiding her tracks as she thought she was. Clearly. If you think Kavanaugh's escape changed anything, you're wrong. Bell Tower will track her down. And on the off chance the good doctor does spill her guts to someone, anything she says will be discredited. Still, I admire your ruthlessness. To save the life of one woman, you allowed a hundred more to die. That takes strength of will. The Reed woman, this Megan you've been searching for, she's not here. And the only thing standing between you and the ship that could take you to her is me. I underestimated you back on the ship. I won't be doing it again. Okay, well, he's letting me through. So that's something. Lad, you there? Quinn? Ooh. Where are you? Getting me ours out of Dodge. Burke's had enough, and he's gunning for you. And I don't intend on being caught in the bloody crossfire. But listen. About the gas. I knew it wasn't easy, but you did what had to be done. Head to me shop. I left you a thing or two so you can give them hell. Ooh. I'd like to say we'd meet again over a pint sometime, but... Well, Godspeed, mate. I'm amazed that guy hasn't spotted me. <laughs> okay, oh, lasers are down everywhere. Okay. 
Oh, jeez. Barricades and everything. Okay. Let's try and find a nice, quiet route back out of here. For such a formidable opponent, you surprise me. No reports from my man on your whereabouts. Have you abandoned your goal? No, 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 not at all. I'm just, uh, taking my time. You want to make sure I do this right. Because you've left a lot of dudes around here. Oh, no. Go to sleep. You shush. Fucking shotgun. Who wants a shotgun? Nobody wants a shotgun. Oh, hello. Got him. <clears throat> oh, don't hit the alarm. <clears throat> oh, fuck. Okay. They want to be hostile. I'm just gonna fucking get in here. <laughs> oh, I suppose you could say that. I just realised I could have taken vents to get down this way. It's fine. I forget which vent it was, so it doesn't really matter. All right, Quinn. What what funky shit have you left me? Ooh, a Praxis kit. Nice. Um, load of healing stuff, which I don't care for. Uh, no. Security rating 5. Quinn, for fuck's sake. Give me, give me like, codes and shit. Yeah? Oh. Nothing on that. Bish, mm. bit reckless. Mmm, this is reckless. Well, I didn't really get anything out of this, Quinn, so thanks very much. You really don't want to give me, like, a code or anything for this? Mm. Would have been nice. Oh, hang on. Remember, the fucking boxes can move. Uh, oh, secret stash. No, it's not that. Where's the secret stash? Oh, there's more here. Nice. Oh, fuck's sake. Right, rockets, definitely. Okay, I'm going to have to drop some stuff so that I can uh, work with some other things. I don't want the grenades. Because they don't fucking stack. Right, target seeking system. I think that's for the... Uh... Right, let me drop you for a moment. Right, target seeking. Oh, for the combat rifle. Oh, no, I've already used that one. So, drop you. And a reload speed upgrade. Let's chuck you onto. I'm going to say combat rifle because I'm going to be using that quite a bit, I reckon. And. Oh, what was the. Uh, that's a rating 5 as well. Oh, I'm not getting into that. Okay. But I think we're good. Now we've got to try and get out of here. Oh, it's going to be fun. Right. I'm going to sneak around this way. Who have I got on my level? Ooh, fuck, hi. I can spot you up there. Right. Pew. I think I missed him. No, he's done. Down. Good. Ooh. Another one over there. Hmm. I want to try and make sure I get all the snipers out of here. Because I can work around everyone else. Right. Ooh. There he goes. Sweet. Okay, apparently there is somebody up on this floor. I have a feeling they're going to be in the office.
He is nowhere to be seen. He is silent like a ghost. The world needs this technology. The cost may yeah. seem steep, but the cost of not developing it is infinitely steep. You heard something, did you? What'd you hear? Nothing. <laughs> Oh, that was quick. Quick and smooth. And I like it. Oh, I'm hearing mines. <gasps> Fuck! Uh, EMP mines. Okay, well, at least that one's gone. Oh, hello, gun. Big gun. Security rating five. Yeah. Is that heavy rifle ammo? Damn it. It's fine. Oh, shit. Oh, this is going to be bad. <laughs> it's only a matter okay. of time before my men find you, Jets. There's nowhere for you to go. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, smooth. Right, yeah, I'd be an idiot to walk into this, wouldn't I? Taking the fucking vents. I'm no idiot. I'm gonna equip my rocket launcher inside a vent. <laughs> I wanna be prepared. Ah, oh, fuck, of course there's a bloody mine out here. Right. Yeet. Okay. Ooh, high big guns. Night, night. Oh. Man is down. I think he's alive. See if he's all right. And we'll search the area. Ah, oh, Jesus. Great plan, mate. Well done. Oh, you think? <laughs> I thought he was bending down to do up his shoelaces. Alright. It's still telling me I need to go through this door. I mean, I'd be a fool to go through the door. Alright, maybe I'll have to do it the way it tells me to do it. I guess. Maybe I just need to open the door. Maybe that's all I need to do. Nope. I need... Yep. Fuck. That's exactly what was expected to happen. Like, it was a dumb idea. Why did we do it? Pocket secretary. How did I miss that? How am I missing it now? There we go. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I think they all shot me at once. <laughs> this is why I didn't want to go through that door. Where am I? Okay. There we go. Okay. So, I've registered that. Now I'm going to go this way. Because I'm a sensible boy. Right, now I need to figure out where you guys are going to go. And how far down are you coming? Not that far. Okie dokie. Still nothing in here that I need. Is there a stun gun? And darts? No. 
Okay, I've got a dude over there I need to be worried about. But my, what I need to get to is in there, I think. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, keep searching. Keep searching. See what it gets you. Yeah, off you fuck. Oh, shit. Turret over there. Hide behind my box. Safety crate. Who you, you calling little shit? Here we go. I remember I punched a hole through this, didn't I? So I can drop down and get behind the turret. Oh yes, superb sneaky boy. <laughs> Oh, I like it when things go according to plan. Oh. <laughs> well, you made it. I'm torn between admiration and pity. You've condemned me for my actions, Jensen. But look at the lengths you've gone to to find one woman. Wasted potential. Although, from what I've heard, I suspect you'll still be of use to me dead. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. Yeah, I'll bet. Fuck. I made a right proper fucking mistake there, didn't I? Oh, fuck. I forgot about the rockets. Um. Yeesh. Right, he wants to play with rockets. I've got some of my own. Yeet! Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Boop! Yes! Oh, nice! Two rockets took that thing down! That's fucking brilliant! <laughs> I forgot they did that. Right, where are the other dickheads? Where'd you go? Hello, where'd you go? What do you mean confirmed? Fuck you up, mate. Whoop. Oh, I think I see. Oh. Oh fuck, they're stealth. Yeah, I see you, I see you. There's no way off this place except for the Gotcha. Nice. Where's the other one gone? I know there's another one up there. I'm sure there's another one up there. Do 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 do. Is your cause any more worthy than mine, Jensen? You seem to think it excuses your own murders. I don't. I don't have a basement full of people that I was performing experiments on, so I don't know. What works for you? So much right to say, judge, jury, mm. and executioner, eh, hey, Jensen? Small-minded fool. Right, avoiding the turret. Nicely done. Yeah, I don't want any of the rest of that. Yeah. Who's been who's been hostile? Oh, oh hi. Oh fuck. Ah shite. Fucking heavy rifle boys. Nothing 
Wait, right, he's down. Oh, so I'm, I'm having to focus on this. It there we like go. The are almost over, but done. He's Bark dead. Not yet. I'm standing. He's not. Oh. Good. We'll bark out of the oh, that was him in there, wasn't it? He's a power vacuum I can take advantage of. Return to Loading Bay 2. The doors between here and the docking platform will be open for you. Last time I passed through there, Burke's men were still waiting for me. Not anymore. Burke has just ordered them away. Great. Except I came here looking mm. for Megan Reed, Bratan. I can't leave without knowing. There is a boat heading toward the location as we speak. If you hurry, you can be on it. Oh, I can't get in here. Pocket secretary. That might get me in to go and see Burke. I think so. Yep. Five, three, five, nine. Oh, I should have killed him with his own revolver. Come on, dickhead. Yeah. <laughs> what have you got on you? Fucking nothing worth having. Machine pistol, that was your weapon of choice. <sighs> I would have gone for something a bit bigger. I'm assuming you've been shut down, uh, but I'm just going to kind of put you over here and get you to face the corner, just because I don't trust you. Right, so am I good now? Yeah, how about how about we do the same with this guy? Yeah. Oh, is it kind of eerie now? Okay. Is this the same ship? Bratan. Quinn? Quinn! I'm afraid our good friend Quinn met with an unfortunate uh, incident during all the commotion and is no longer with us. Your voice. It was you this whole time. Who are you? For the moment, I'm between identities. I apologize for the duplicity, but it was a necessary precaution. You had to be kept in the dark. And Keitner? Did she know? Commander Keitner's perception was much like yours. Shrouded. She saw what she needed to see, and was told what she needed to hear in order for me to complete the mission. So we were both pawns. Except she's dead and I'm not. So where does that leave me in your grand design? We are all pawns in someone else's grand design, Mr. Jensen. But that doesn't make Natanya's death any less tragic. Your actions ensured her sacrifice was not made in vain, however. Dr. Kavanaugh made it out safely, and is on her way to the rendezvous site. She will expose the truth in due time. Kardner wasn't the only one who died back there. Those prisoners... ...will be added to a long list of Bell Tower's atrocities. We will not let them be forgotten. We mustn't stay here much longer, Mr. Jensen, if we hope to get you away from this base. Oh, but I do want to dig for some info. I still have questions, Quinn, and I want answers. Real answers. No more bullshit. You really want to waste time chatting, Bratan? Fine. I will answer what I can, but keep in mind you have a boat to catch. I know, I know, I know. Um... Alright. Keitner said she had been approached by an agent from Interpol. It was you, wasn't it? Very astute. One I learned of Commander Keitner's suspicions and insubordinate behavior towards Burke. I saw an opportunity. Pretending to be an agent of Interpol seemed the best way to gain her trust. You mean you lied? So who do you work for? A loose network of independent operatives. Agents of conversion and equilibrium who seek to expose corruption and assure humanity's natural progress. In truth, we are not affiliated with any global organization. But then, neither is our enemy, officially. Your enemy? Mm. You're not just talking, talking about, about Bell Tower Talking about Illuminati. Illuminati. You're talking about... The men and women who pull Bell Tower strings. The same men and women who ordered them to kidnap Megan Reed. Hmm. Bell Tower probably has a battalion on its way to clean up this mess. How do you plan on keeping what we did here a secret? I'm delighted to say that Burke did most of the damage control for us. Oh, good. After requesting a profile search on you, he never explained why he needed it. I believe he wanted to keep control of you to himself. Since that time, we've been monitoring all incoming and outgoing communications, and the lockdown allowed me to discreetly install a tunneler, rerouting the base's network traffic. 
By the time Beltow realizes something is wrong, it will already be too late. What about the rest of the base personnel? Most of them think Burke is still in command. Technically, orders continue to be issued in his name, but I'm the one making the calls. I've also taken the liberty of cordoning of this sector of the base. For the moment, at least, we're safe. That was good. Right, where's Megan? All right. Where's Megan? I don't know for certain. But what I do know is that earlier today, Burke issued orders to have a large group of detainees transferred off this base. Supposedly, they will be assisting at another black site facility. Kavanaugh said this was just the factory floor. You sure Megan is at this other facility? Nothing is ever certain in life, Mr. Jensen. But it is the best chance you have. Unfortunately, the cargo ship carrying the prisoners has already set sail. But I took the liberty to send out an urgent dispatch in Burke's name, ordering the ship's captain to hold position until one more detainee could be flown on board. In stasis. A helicopter is en route to pick you up. Wait a mm. second. You want me to get inside another stasis pod? Last time I got in one of those things, it didn't go so well. I know it's far from ideal, but frankly, your options are quite limited. Although, I suppose you could try swimming there. It better be the right fucking boat this time. Because I don't feel like coming back here anytime soon. Don't worry, yeah. man. It'll be grand. <laughs> Besides, I thought you Americans liked riding off into the sunset. Damn. Quinn, you impress me. Oh. That's a lot of stuff. Jeez. 14 Praxis kits? Holy shit. Dude's decked me out. <laughs> I have taken many risks to secure these items for you, Bratan. I trust you will put them to good use. Until we meet in person. We've, we've met in person. We were just chatting. Don't you remember? Uh, I don't know. Right. Uh, is there stuff here that I don't need? Uh, I kind of want all of it right now. Oh, there's so much stuff lying around. I don't need machine pistol ammo. Just fucking drop it. What have we got? Heavy rifle. Don't really care. Grenade launcher. Don't need. An AUD. Ooh. I may as well just top up some more combat rifle ammo. Although that AUD could be very handy. Why does the software have to take up bloody inventory space? It's infuriating. Why can't this ammo stack more? Oh, I've still got more machine pistol ammo. I'll get rid of that. Right. And I think that's some tranquilizer darts. Oh, that's sniper rifle ammo. Oh, I don't need that. Okay, into my box I go. Where am I? There he is. It's done. Exactly as you instructed. And yet you sound disappointed. You think we should have handled this differently? I think we had a valuable asset in our hands. And we're letting him slip away. He could have been very useful in the coming storm. A hand does not need to be clenched tightly to maintain its hold on someone. Jensen carries too much baggage right now. His obsession with Reed only serves to distract him. We could have told him the truth. He must discover it by himself. And when he does, if you have followed my instructions precisely, we will know how to find him. Assuming he lives that long. Ooh. Oh. A few days later. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Must be cold. Richard, any chance you're still there? Jensen, my god. You've been offline for days. Where the hell are you? I was hoping you'd tell me. I'm yeah. pinging you now. You're in Singapore. 
I see. Something's wrong, Jensen. I pinged you, and a second later, I lost your GPL signal. It's like you disappeared into a black hole. Gotta be a jammer. Well, obviously. If you can find the transmitter and take it offline, I'll be able to track you. And keep you on a tighter leash. I've got more important things to do than help you keep tabs on me. If Megan and her team are here, there's no time to waste. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, I'm gonna wrap this episode up here, because this has gone on for far too fucking long. <laughs> Oh, that was so good. Um, I really enjoyed all that stuff over on Rifleman Bank Station, which I can't remember if I mentioned before, but I, wa I was told that that was, like, DLC. So I think the standard kind of base game experience has you enter the stasis pod in the cargo container back in um, Hengsha, and then you wake up here. So everything we've just done has been DLC content, and that was really full of fun stuff to do, so... That was, that was very enjoyable. But now we are in another nondescript location. Uh, so we're going to try and track down Megan in the coming episodes now. Ooh. I do think we're go it's all coming to a head, but yeah. I'm going to wrap this episode up here and just say thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out the playlist on the channel for more Let's Plays on Metal Covers. And give this video a like or a comment just to leave your thoughts. And if you wish to join the ever-growing ranks of the Order of the Shield, subscribe on YouTube, chuck me a follow over on Twitch, or maybe even consider checking out my Patreon and becoming an officer within the ranks. I thank you again for watching this video, and I will catch you all very, very soon. This is Captain Meat Shield, signing off. Have you just... shat out a log on the floor? You disgusting bulb!